I understand that Baltimore or maybe even Baltimore County as well has a very high number of especially black um, female so lesbian identifying families like that's a huge tell me a little bit about what it's like being LGBT in and around Baltimore City and how many folks really are there I think it had to do also with when they were trying to get out the vote for Hillary Clinton it might have been that's when I remember reading articles about the area but go ahead I think what's so really you know really cool and beautiful about our community in Baltimore is that we've always been here Um, we are part of what has always made the city great we've helped to build the city and we've helped to carve the city's unique cultural identity in the country. Um, But Baltimore is also a city that is challenged, you know, in so many ways. We are the birthplace of things like redlining, you know, and racial geographic segregation. Um, We, in many ways, provided the blueprint for how we systemically oppress Black people. Um, Baltimore is, in many ways, leading the country on how you know, we show that the legacies of white supremacy and, and, and race-based violence contribute to show up and continue to show up for, for Black people in Baltimore City, all while having Black leaders. So it's a real interesting place. Um, and there's a real, there's a narrative that people tell about Baltimore that's a, it's a place of scarcity. Um, and I think that there are people, many people that are without, but Baltimore isn't a scarce place, that we are, we are there's so much around us and so much within us. Um, so I think that like when you are LGBTQ in an environment like that, where um, you're fighting for your own survival, your own liberation, um, alongside so many other people who are doing the same thing, but your story is just a little different. Your story has a twist to it. It's sometimes hard to be seen. It's hard to fight for the attention. It's hard to... Um, it's hard to communicate that your issues are in any way more important than your fellow Baltimoreans issues, because we are a city with so many different issues. Mm -hmm. Um, And so what that does is it it builds a crust around you, you know, a resilience um, that, that allows you to be unseen and almost like become complacent with being unseen. Mm -hmm. So I think a big part of my work, if I'm able to do it well, um, is to to have people reimagine and dream again, like what it means to be LGBTQ in Baltimore City. Like we are a very unique, beautiful, resilient bunch. Um, And so I feel like a lot of our community just kind of fades in the background. You know, so many of our LGBT headed households, they they have no reason to believe there's anything more for them. You know, everyone is keeping their head down, sending their kid to school, doing the best they can for them um, and just keeping it pushing. And I think that I would challenge them to say, you know, wait a minute, there's something, there's something here. Um, and so it's, and also I will say over the years, the legacies of activism and leadership um, have exhausted our community. Um, I think there have been always attempts at doing this um, and it, it was never really done very well. And so I think at this point, it's like, why bother, um, you know, LGBT Baltimoreans are dealing with the same things that so many Baltimoreans are dealing with, with homelessness and, and job loss and uh, healthcare access. Um, that LGBT almost becomes like fourth or fifth on the list of things. But I think that I'm trying to have people understand that like, while we, while we can say that being LGBT should be, as I've heard people say, the least interesting thing about me, right? That there are these other things going on. Um, that we deserve for the city to recognize the the unique predicament that we're in um, and how, you know, shelters are available for one group of folks, but maybe aren't available for you because of your gender identity. Um, and then that's a severe issue. Um, so I think helping people, you know, dream again what it means to be a part of a collective um, in Baltimore City is going to be is going to be really important.